What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today Apple has released the fourth beta of iOS 17 and the second beta to public beta testers. And in this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside the software. The first change is inside of settings. So if we were to go into settings right here, you're going to see a brand new glyph icon for home screen and app library. Here's what it looks like inside of beta 3. The next change is inside of control center right here. We have a brand new glyph icon for the Apple TV remote. And if I were to bring in my iPad right here, you could see what it looks like before and what it looks like now. It looks a lot different. It looks more minimalist. However, I kind of miss the wheel. And not only that, they also updated the Apple TV remote to be different. So here is what they look like side by side. So the buttons are more filled in. We have the vibrancy inside of beta 4 right here. And they filled in the pause and the play button. And it overall just looks a lot better than it did in previous betas. The next change is with standby mode. So if we were to go inside of our settings, then scroll down to standby, you're gonna see a brand new toggle that says show preview on tap only. If you turn this on, the screen will just remain off it won't turn on unless you were to tap it, which if people want that, you now have that option. There's a new toggle inside of privacy and security and inside of sensitive content warning, we have a brand new toggle for inside of contacts. So I'm not sure what it is, if it's gonna be like a pornography image or something or the contact posters, this is probably what it is for. It will just block it all out. Now we also got an another redesign inside of the messages app. If we were to press this plus button, you're gonna notice this brand new redesign app platter so it's the same down here basically but up here it is a lot different now i guess the app store icon is different but in here the the app store images and the music icons are different and digital touch i'm not sure if check-in is different i'm gonna guess that it is different but there's no way for me to tell at this point this just looks a whole lot better i'm not sure if apple's going to ask app developers to update these icons so they are circular but these look different and no longer dynamically shows you a photo like it did in the previous beta which may be a sad change for some but it is new nonetheless now we have a brand new icon inside of safari so inside our personal tab group you're going to notice with the shared ones, there's actually now a shared button right over here. So if we were to share a tab group, you're going to see this brand new share button right here. And if it's not shared, it's just like that, just like a normal one. And unfortunately, there's nothing new with profile. I still don't know how to make a new profile on the iPhone. It would make things a whole lot easier if, if Apple just put it in here and added add new profile. Inside the music app, we're to go into a music and then go to a song. If you were to tap on these three dots, I'll be bringing beta three real fast. You're gonna notice here that we have a share play button inside of beta three, but we actually don't inside of beta four, but Apple actually moved it inside of share song right here. If I were to tap into it, you're gonna notice share play moved right into here. It's not gone or anything. It's not like Apple just gave up on SharePlay at this point. It's just right here. Whereas before it just used to be in its own section. Now the last change is inside of iPadOS where we actually have name drop references in here. But I tried it, it doesn't work. If I try airdropping to it, it just does not work at all. Even if I bring it really close up here, it's not counting as an iPhone. I'm guessing that Apple just accidentally enabled this on iPads, which will hopefully get fixed in the next beta, unfortunately. Or Apple could just bring name drop to the iPad since that will make things a lot more convenient for me. I still have a couple of issues with this beta. So the first one is if I were to send to an international friend, you're gonna notice that since I have the plus I'm sending internationally, it's going as a green bubble as you can see right there. It actually does not send. I tried this, it does not send at all. We, Apple still needs to fix that in the next beta. And yeah, other than that, this is a pretty solid update. If you'd like to see macOS and watchOS, please subscribe and press that notification bell. And also like and comment and share this video with your friends. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!